all right you guys i'm back we're home so i thought i would fill you in quickly on what i found out today i need to sit you down somewhere hang on a sec uh yes balancing you on a drink bottle right now so don't go falling over on me so the good news is that my scan didn't show up anything serious, no broken bones, anything like that. It just looks like it's a thickening, which is affecting the nerves. And I basically have to relearn how to walk again. Crazy. So I'm continuing on with my current exercises, but he has altered them slightly um, and trying to realign my hips and just get everything working again. I got my orthotics and they fit really well. So I've got to wear them tomorrow for one hour and then the next day for two hours, the next day for three, I'm continuing on and building it up to get used to them getting my foot used to them and yeah just continue on with the exercises and strengthening up my foot and hopefully that will release some of that pressure and that pain i also had to get a new pair of shoes <laughs> surprise surprise so he sent me to this shoe store that actually sells like all different kinds of brands of runners but they have a podiatrist that work there and they get you to put on all these different sneakers and you go on a treadmill and you walk and you run and they kind of analyze what is best suited for your condition and it came I could only choose from two pairs of shoes the ones that I initially wanted to go felt really tight over the top of my foot and I thought well that's not going to do me any good so there was only one other option left and they're by Brooks. And this is them. I mean, they're not terrible or anything. I would have preferred a black pair of shoes because black just goes with everything. But these are like a gray and a mauve. And that's what they look like. They're really, really comfy. They've got great support. I feel like they're um, wedges like platform shoes i feel like i've grown an inch when i wear them and um yeah they're really really comfy and sturdy like you can't bend them my other shoes used to just bend like that like they were a thong so these ones have really good support in them and my orthotics is under this part here so you just pull up that inner sole and you can see my orthotics is in there I'll show you why not because you are I'm sure you're all dying to see what my orthotics looks like and that's it there so I've just got the matching one in this one yeah so there you have it hopefully one day soon I will be able to exercise again and get back to feeling more like myself in these fang dangly runners <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and take off my lashes now. You know when you just get to the point in the day where you're like, okay, time for you to come off. That was so good. So I pulled them off and the little magnetic bits stayed in position, which is awesome. So now I can put them straight back in the case and they are all ready to go for the next time I want to wear them. And there was just one more thing I had to talk to the doctor about which was Kaisy boy because he does this crazy walk and he won't stop doing it and it freaks me out i call it the creeper walk because it's so creepy and just ugh. i don't know how he does it i've never seen anyone do this before and i'm really concerned that he's gonna break his toes or do some damage the doctor thinks it's habitual that he's just formed this habit of doing it because he will do it on carpet, floorboards, concrete, 
everywhere and it just freaks me out. So I'm gonna get him to do it and show you guys and you can let me know if you've seen anyone do this before either and my baby and how you got them to stop doing it because the only way I can get him to not do it is if I put shoes on him. But I can't have him in shoes 24 seven. Anyway, I'm rambling so I'm gonna let him show you the creeper walk. Look what he does. He walks with his toes bent under like that. Walk back that way. Like that. So, so that was the creeper walk. I hope you guys liked it. But it's so weird. His toes bent under like that. And he walks like that. It's just, I don't know, mind blowing to me. But I'm trying to get him to stop doing it because surely that cannot be good for your foot. And I don't even know why he started doing it, but he just does it like every day. He'll just walk normally like that. Like that's just how you walk. Okay, it's now five o'clock. So I'm gonna start getting dinner ready. <laughs> Look at this little guy sitting out the window. Hello, my friend. You're hungry? Okay, I'm gonna start getting dinner ready now. Tonight we are having a beef stir fry. And I make two batches of meat these days because I just feel like there's not enough with one anymore. So we've got that. We've got some bird eye. Chinese stir fry. I really like this one the best out of all the different varieties. I don't like it. And Coco's, oh, well, I don't like it. Yes, you'll like it, buddy, I promise. When I was at the soupy yesterday, I was trying to find the um, stir fry sauces and I couldn't find them. And then there was a lady in the aisle who was packing shells. And I was like, oh, excuse me, can you tell me where to find the stir fry? And she's like, yeah, right there and it was literally in front of my very eyes um, so I grabbed the canton honey sesame and garlic two of those and then she was telling me about well, I want to have garlic bread. you want some garlic bread tonight yeah garlic bread and stir-fry not too sure how well that will go down together but King Kazi wants garlic bread, he <laughs> shall get garlic bread. Um, yeah, so she was telling me about, you right, Kazi boy? Yeah. Not that one. Look at that one. Oh yeah, this one. The Lee Kum Ki San Choi Bao, I think that's how you say it. And she said that she whips this up a lot and that it's really, really nice. So. I'm going to try that next week and I'll have to let you guys know how it goes. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Want to hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me. Get next to me. All that I want.
whether the two mixed together is right like beef with sweet I don't know I don't know what to do I'll just dish it up and not say anything and we'll see what they say what are your honest thoughts Inns? do you like it mm -hmm. you like dinner yeah. really do you think the sauce tastes good with the meat okay very nice Okay. How are you doing? Hi guys. You heard it from the horse's mouth, so I guess it's not so bad after all. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll go ahead and leave all the details below of all those good things that I showed you guys today. I'm going to wrap up this vlogaroonie here. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I love you all so very much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.